How good does that look? Hi, I'm Chewy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily cook seafood and flavored rice on the barbecue. We can't be eating brisket every day. This method is easy and delicious. There's no need to take notes, as the recipe, as always, is in the description. Just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Today, I need medium to high indirect heat and I'll be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle and I'll be pairing it up with some charcoal baskets and that way I'll be able to get temperatures of around 200 to 220 degrees Celsius. How I'll do that is I'll three quarter fill a chimney starter of briquettes, light it up. Once they're all ashed over, I'll dump them into the charcoal basket. Then using an old pair of tongs, I'll just move the charcoal baskets to either end of the charcoal grate. I'll put the grill in place. I'll put the lid on and open all the vents wide open. And I'll give that 10 minutes to warm up. So let's start with the seafood. I'm using some salmon and some prawns. And no, I'm not gonna say it. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. There you go, you happy? Got it out of your system. We just need to thinly slice some zucchini and add them to a bowl. Then add our shelled and deveined prawns. All of them. And no, I'm not gonna say it again. Then add some garlic, some cumin, and some red chili flakes. And also a little bit of olive oil. Season with salt and pepper. Put a glove on if you don't wanna stink like fish. And give that a good mix. Grab a large piece of foil. And lay it out flat. So just place all the zucchini slices down. Add some lemon slices. Add the salmon. And then add the prawns. Now just add some butter to this. And a little splash of your missus white wine. Just top it up with water so she doesn't know you're taking any. Now we just need to seal this up. So fold it over. And fold each edge a couple of times. Just like that. That'll keep everything in there and the last edge. And quickly open that end up because I didn't stick in the time that, that I've got in my recipe. And seal that back up. Now it's time to get our rice ready. Rice is so easy to perfect, it's just a matter of measuring it out. You need one part of rice to one and a half parts of liquid. I'm using 200 grams of rice and I'm adding to that 300 mils of liquid. How simple was that? Nearly as simple as liking this video. Now, we need to make a pocket out of foil, just like we did for the seafood, but we need to make the pocket up first. So fold the edges a few times, turn it around, do this side again a couple of times, and we have a little pocket. So to our little pocket, we can add our rice. I'm using jasmine just because I like the flavor of it. And to that, we're gonna add five grams of chopped up chives. Get in there. And I'm also gonna add the zest of half a lemon. In you go, create some magic. Now for the liquid, I'm actually using chicken stock because it creates a really nice flavor with rice and it's warmed up. See, in that goes. And we just need to seal up the ends. Fold it before you lay it flat. And the air pocket's fine, because the rice is going to expand. And just fold up those corners just a little bit. We can now get both of the foil packets into the Weber. Just place them in the middle of the two charcoal baskets, right in the middle of that cooking grate. Put the lid back on, positioning the vent so it's in between two baskets at one end. We're gonna leave that alone for five minutes now. We are cooking today with a medium to high indirect heat of 200 to 220 degrees Celsius. This cook's only gonna take 10 minutes on the grill. Yep, that's all. So for those of you who like to use my beer timer, sadly, this is just a one beer cook. It's been five minutes now, so we need to flip that rice parcel. Using some heat-proof gloves, just grab two corners and flip it. Now, you may lose a little bit of liquid. That doesn't matter. Put the lid back on. Put the vent lid on the opposite side this time, and we give that another five minutes. Surely by now you've subscribed to the channel. And while you're there, you might as well hit that bell button. 
and that way you'll get notified every time I upload new content. Now we're gonna want something to sprinkle over this dish once it's finally finished, purely to make us feel like we're being fancy. So we're just gonna finally chop up some fresh parsley and just put that into a bowl ready for some action later. When using herbs, I like to use fresh varieties purely because they have so much more flavor than the dried variety. Time is up, we can get the foil packets off the heat. Ooh, this smells good. Now, remember when opening these up, there is steam in there, it's hot, don't put your face right over the opening. Ah. And it's very hot. So what we have here is, look at that, perfectly cooked rice. Well, some of this on the plate. And now our seafood. Oh, look at that. How gorgeous does that look? I'm gonna try and get one piece of salmon. Like that. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And some of that zucchini. I really wish you could smell this. That smells incredible. And we just finish it off with a little sprinkle of the fresh parsley we just chopped up. How easy was that? Everything from the rice to the seafood is packed with flavor. So simple, but so tasty. Mm. As always, cheers for watching. Ah, one last one for you. Throw another shrimp on the barbie.